Hey, my name is Dylan and I do computer graphics and this video is going to be about pixel art. I'm going to show you how to set up your pixel brush and artboards in Procreate on the iPad. We first need to make a, a one pixel brush in Procreate. Make a new artboard of one pixel by one pixel. Make sure you fill that entire pixel with a color, just to be sure. Um, pick a solid brush and fill it out a couple of times. Uh, I ended up with white. Then go to actions menu, select the add menu and press on copy. So now we copied a one pixel by one pixel shape, which we are going to use as a brush. Now make a new artboard with your desired pixel artboard size. I use the size of 160 by 144 pixels. So now go into your brush menu and press the plus icon to create a new brush. Head over to the shape menu and select edit. Then import in the top right menu and press paste. To paste that one pixel shape we copied in our first artboard. Now our brush is a one pixel brush. In the other menus of your brush, there will be settings that are not necessary and you need to change all settings so that there are no effects on your pixel brush. Um, I'm going over all the settings without commentary. So the best way to follow along is to pause the video and do as I do. Make sure the brush size is at its lowest and don't forget to uh, max out the pen pressure. Now we got a pixel brush, you might want some visual assistance and get a nice one pixel grid to work on. So to make this grid, again go to the actions menu, this time press on canvas and turn on drawing guide. We get a grid but it's not the correct grid yet. Press on edit drawing guide and lower the grid size all the way down to 0 pixels. You can change the grid color in case you want a higher contrast or working with a different background color. Right, that's it. I hope it helps someone. If there are any questions let me know in the comments. Um, I'm planning on creating a playlist fully dedicated to pixel art and pixel animations in the software of my choosing like Procreate, Photoshop and do animations too in After Effects maybe? I don't know, I still have to research that. So if you want to see more tutorials, uh, want to see my progress or workflow, make sure you subscribe to my channel to get that notification. And thank you for watching, until next time.